Salutations Tuesday and everyone out there in YouTube world. Today is Tuesday, did I already say that? Yes, I did. It's raining. It's going to be raining all week. Um, and not just like doo -doo 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 cute rain, like let's wear cute galoshes and a nice raincoat and go out and play in the rain. Not one of those. Just one of those where it's freaking sideways raining in your face when you're walking out to get Starbucks. One of those rains. Um, not lacking it at all. Um, but I'm driving. I have like no thread. Like, is that, is that called thread? You know, my tires are so worn out. I'm such a loser. I don't keep up on stuff like that. So when I start, sometimes I just spin in place. Yeah, I know it's super dangerous. I know I might die. You don't have to get, leave me messages how irresponsible and immature I am. I understand. And that's what I got a man for. And unfortunately, my man is in tax season. So <sighs> that's that. Um, let's see what's going on today. Um, I'm just so glad I have you guys because, you know, I'm going into my nine to five and in between doing things that, you know, are work related. I get to do a video for you guys and so if I didn't have that I'd be like miserable so I'm glad I have you guys thank you for supporting me I appreciate you more than you know so I'm going to do more brand education and I know I know I know I know I know no brand is a it's a topic that upsets me it makes me happy at the same time because it upsets me when people ask for a brand list but I like talking about some brands because there are some wonderful brands you should never leave behind and I want you to know them so it's like really weird. Like I said, love and hate, yin and yang. So because I got 100 likes on my last brand video, not only are we going to review all the brands, like I'm going to read them off again, I'm going to add additional brands for you to um, remember to never leave behind when you're at the bins at the thrift stores and all that um, and I think repetition is important so that's why I am going to go back and read you all the brands that we have covered in the past so you can you know memorialize them in your brain your toolbox of brands to never leave behind and I'm gonna try to do that unless it gets totally outrageous but I'm gonna try to do that and make sure you remember all of them I got a lot of really positive feedback from the anthropology video and people were telling me not only is you know it was helpful to see um, the labels but it was helpful for them to hear me read read the labels because people you know are learners auditory learners or visual learners so um, I appreciate that feedback and that's what I'm going to try to do for you. Yeah, no comment. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else? That's about it. I'm just going to do a brand list. I'm going to focus on brands that are less um, mainstream. Uh, I mean, they're important to some people who wear them, of course. But they're not your everyday mall brands and things you find in every strip mall. So um, I hope that's helpful to you guys. I will catch you later. Disclaimer. Do not buy these brands for brand alone. Always check the condition of the item. Some brands may sell great, even with flaws, but that is for you to research. Be aware of season, style trends, and be ready to do some homework. This video is meant to nudge you in the right direction should you come across them. The first brand I wanted to go over is Isabel Morant. Isabel Morant. Remember that one. Um, I don't know if you remember, but she did a fantastic collaboration with H&M. That collaboration sold out in minutes and it crashed H&M's uh, website. It was fantastic. So here's how you spell her name, Isabel Morant. 
Um, and I'm looking on MyTeresa.com, which is a wonderful website to buy luxury items. And I want to first show you how much the brand new clothing costs. So you can see it's a uh, luxury brand that, yeah, it gets up there, right? It certainly gets up there. New, even with a 40% off uh, discount, but very, very beautiful clothing. Now, two things. There is the Runway Isabel brand signature clothing collection, and then there's the Diffusion brand. We are looking at the Diffusion brand, um, believe it or not. So um, the Diffusion brand sometimes go by um, Etoile, Etoile, Isabel Morant. That's how you recognize it. Um, so just FYI. Um, yeah, and a lot of beautiful shoes, gorgeous shoes. If you ever see Isabel Morant shoes, you got to get them. So how does she do on Poshmark? I am looking at Isabel Moran's sold listings on Poshmark. Um, great 125, look at that. Even basic, little basic items. Excuse me. Shoes do well. Look at those sneakers, $75. Um, not impressed with that, but once again, the, the more basic, like a white t-shirt, a black t-shirt, whatever, obviously that's not going to be that great. But the more stylish an item was, we're getting up there. Nice resale value. Now, I don't know which of these are the, the um, collaborations that she's done. Some of them are going to be like super less. Um, but the stuff that you get from the stores that I just, from the websites that I just showed you, um, is going to command some nice money. Uh, obviously, if you're going to find anything Isabel Morant, like see this is a skirt, and they actually did say H&M, which is nice. If you're going to find anything, find dresses. Dresses will get you the most money from Isabel Morant. Everything else, is, uh, obviously if you find it at the binge, you got to pick it up. Um, oh, here, see, look at this. They actually did say Etoile, so they know this is um, the Diffusion brand. But beautiful pieces, and I don't know if you saw, if you would see it at the bins if you would pick it up, but now, hopefully, you will. Yes, you will. Okay, gotta go. Oh, wait, no, 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 hold on, hold on. I gotta show you really quickly on um, eBay. The phone is ringing, so I got sidetracked. On eBay, these are the sold listings. Isabel Morant does really well on eBay as well. I would even venture to say that I'm seeing better prices here than I did on Poshmark. Ooh, look at that. That is nice. Etoil Isabel Morant, beautiful. Yeah, so if you get this brand posted on both Poshmark and eBay, it seems like very strong prices on eBay. And I love looking at... Isabel Morant, just runway fashions from just every every time there's a spring, summer, winter uh, runaway show, I go and check out her her items. Just gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh look, that's the picture I posted on Instagram. Isabel Morant. All right, that's number one for you. All right, here is our next brand. It has a French name. What do you know? M. Demoiselle, Demoiselle, Demoiselle. Um, don't forget those French names might be a good brand. So if you spot it at the bins or some um, thrift store, just remember that one. Um, it's a great brand that has a very dreamy, bohemian, gypsy uh, vibe, a lot of peasant looks. Um, they sell throughout um, all of the uh, luxury secondhand markets like the Real Real, um, After Six, and all of them, and they command pretty good prices. Um, some items obviously better than others, but I'll show you real quick um, uh, what they fetch brand new. So here's some items I found on Revolve. Check that out, $410. I 
this sweater. So if you saw this sweater at the bins, you might think, oh, it's some ugly 80s thing, mom sweater, right? But check that out. You gotta be aware those brands sometimes have really funky fashions. So then let's see, on eBay, on eBay, these are sold uh, items. Let's see what they get us. We have 55, 45, a $315 sweater, not too shabby. Um, let's see, I don't know that. Oh, I know the reason why free people might come up when you're looking at this brand, it's because this brand is distributed through the free people boutiques. So I don't know if you knew, but free people is a label, but it also has boutiques like stores that carry other brands, very similar to anthropology. Um, so while Free People's the label is the house brand, they do feature other um, other designers. Check that one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And yeah, they mess Demoiselle had a anthropology stint as well. I don't think they currently sell anything there. So then let's check it out on Poshmark. Um, $450 sweater, white was twice, they sold the sale, went through, the person had to post it again, post it at a lower price, blah, blah, blah. But just look at the prices. These are sold listings. Let me make sure, yep, sold listings. Uh, dress, $260, $250. Look at that, here's another ugly sweater, $220. Um, this person is messing, it's using tags. Um, sweater, sweater, great prices, you guys, just great prices. So don't forget this brand. M-E-S-D-E-M-I-D-M-O-I-S-E-L-L. -E 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 Mesdemoiselle, Mesdemoiselle, I have no idea, but remember it. Toodles. Okay, I wanted to throw in there a pretty cool um, uh, brand of jeans and I wanted to make sure that no one ever leaves this behind. Now granted the simpler styles might only get you 20, 30, 40 dollars but a lot of the ones that are out there the highly distressed like some of them are just really effed up jeans like torn to pieces you might spot them, be like, who the hell would wear that? Uh-huh. People who will pay $499 will. And some of them look like, oh, yeah, these got jacked up, you know, someone wore them out, or, oh, man, these are so bad. Um, generally, the, the crappier they look, the more expensive they are. So uh, let's get started. Um, I was going to show you. Um, the Google search they sell on like Neiman Marcus, um, Saks Fifth, I think they sell at Barney's and all that. So they're a high-end designer brand for both men and women. Um, on eBay, they command great uh, returns as well. You can check out those prices. Those are the sold listings. Um, that I like, I need to remember to go back and buy this for a few bucks and sell it on Posh. So these are pretty strong prices, much less than I've seen on Poshmark, but still selling pretty good. And then let's look at Posh. On Posh, there's been, um, there's been ones that went for over 300. Check these out, 285, 250, um, then we have 220, uh, 240, pretty good you guys. So, moral of the story, if you find these, grab them and sell them. Robin's Jeans, R-O-B-I-N apostrophe S, Jeans. Uh, he's a French designer who came to the United States, opened up a small boutique in Beverly Hills, and the rest is history. Robin's Jeans. Whoa, whoa. Here's another 
um, maybe less mainstream, but definitely a luxury brand, Peter Pilato, Peter P-I-L-O-T-T-O. -T -T -O. Um, he had a very successful collaboration with Target, even some items, not all, but some items from um, the collaboration, Fetch Good Money. I wanted to show you, I'm trying to quicken this up, um, trying to show you the type of prices, the regular stuff commands, um, so you have an idea. Move that out. Check out those dresses. They're just stunning. I definitely got to do an Instagram post on that. I've been posting kind of like brands to never leave behind um, little postings on Instagram to keep to keep everyone updated. But um, anyway, so you can see the Target sign, blah, blah, blah. Gorgeous, gorgeous clothing. Stunning. So Peter Pilato. Oh my goodness gracious. Check that out. Wow. Designer Fashion Online, Peter Pilato. Um, okay, so let's get to business. Um, on eBay. On eBay, I've noticed it's not doing that great from the Target collaboration aspect. So, um, well, not great. Let, let's define not great. Some items have been sold for two, three, four, five dollars. Mm, not that great. But some have been sold for more from the Target collaboration. Um, so it's hit and miss from that aspect. However, on Poshmark, it does much better. So if you find Peter, Peter Pilato at the bins, like this shirt, someone bought it for $165. Don't look away. Grab it. Um, get to know the Target. Maybe look over the, tar the Target release and the the prints are all going to be very similar, so you're, you're going to quickly know what they are and you're going to make that determination. Do I buy it or not based on that? But once again, if you see it at the bins, pick it up. I'm telling you, pick it up. Um, the dresses, as always, are going to get you a lot more. Um, very, very cute. And this is on Poshmark. Let's see, I did a um, priced high to low sort on, on, the, on the search for this because I wanted to kind of weed out the bottom barrel of the Target stuff. But I was really surprised to see that even the Target stuff sold on you know higher end. Um, so yeah, check that out. It's a romper sold for $75. Who knew? Um, that's cute, 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 cute. So don't forget this guy, Peter Pilato, P-I-L-O-T-T-O, -T -T -O, Pilato. All right, you guys, here's your next one. This is a brand called True Grit. And um, it is uh, a clothing brand that's for both men, women, and they have youth sizing as well. It distributes through Nordstrom, Zappos, just great distribution points, right? So you know if it comes from there, it's going to be nice. The, the look, the most common look is this type of sweatshirt. I know that prior to me knowing True Grit, and I think there was a picture of a label here somewhere. Hold on. I thought I saw it. I guess not. Uh, prior to me knowing about it, I would have not even thought about picking it up if I saw it at the bins. Uh, so let me show you what it commands, what it what it gets you on Poshmark. Um, these are just shared. I didn't sort them in any order except for just sold. And the numbers are great. So if you see it at the bins or even at the thrift store, you guys need to be picking it up. Great, great um, return. It's on the same level as uh, Patagonia, maybe even a little bit better. Um, so don't leave it. To be oh, here's one with the label. That's cool. So you guys can see what it looks like. True grit. 
Yeah, I swear, if I saw this at the bins and I saw a big men's sweatshirt and it's a true grit, I would have thought it's like Wrangler or something you'd find at freaking, you know, whatever, Kmart, Walmart. So that's why I wanted to point this one out um, uh, because it's a good one. Check that out. $205? Hell to the yeah, yes, please. And on eBay, it does well as well. So this is one you would cross post across the platforms. Beautiful, beautiful returns. Check that out. Like, it's like it has its own following for real. It's fantastic. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I might be buying something. But I live in California. Where the hell am I going to get it? I love that. True Grit, everybody. T-R-U-E, True Grit, like the movie. Another brand for you. Currently, I'm still on the fence if it's feasible to buy it for more than six or seven dollars at the thrift store. So for right now, it has a solid get it at the bins uh, rating for me, Boondoggle Bins approved. Um, still feeling it out from a um, thrift, full thrift store purchase. I would not spend more than five or six dollars on this and on um, certain styles. So uh, it's a very boho brand once again. I do think they sold some stuff. At, oh yeah, there you go, Anthro. thought I came across that. Um, youthful boho Neiman Marcus distributed I don't know if they still do um, but another very cutesy cutesy label um, on eBay it gets eh, eh, you know there's some dresses and obviously the more intricate items will um, an embroidered will get you more money the basics eh. That's why I said don't leave it at the bins. Um, pretty impressive on that. Uh, you know the rule, if it looks like it took a long time to make, it might command you more. It might get you more money. So um, not too bad on, on here. On Poshmark, you get a little bit more. So check this out, 99 Not too not too shabby, right? So the brand is Love Sam. Um, I think it's a up and comer. Um, I think they're newer to the resale scene. So I'll keep an eye out on this one. I like it because it's the boho kind of vintagey feel. So enjoy. I'll show you another one of my favorites. And once again, we're talking boho vintage, um, very exotic, and this is the brand called Antique Batik. It's kind of easy to remember, I think, just because it's a unique name, but that clothing is amazing, and what she's also very much known for, and I say she because the, um, the gal, her name is Gabriela Cortese, Cortese or something like that. I read an article about her a long time back about her inspirations and travels to Indonesia and stuff. So you can definitely see that inspiration all throughout. Her items are just completely stunning. And um, the dresses, I've just, I don't know what to say. They always leave me speechless. They are so gorgeous looking for one of those dresses I'll do an in search of because there is I need to get one of those dresses that's all I gotta say gorgeous antique boutique Elia dress so let's see what's going on from a resale value um, antique boutique uh, not that great on the simpler items I see some good returns here I've actually never looked at this I have no idea um, um, how she resells at all. Antique Batik. All I know is that the jeans command zero dollars. I'll show you how, I, I'll show you the proof for that, but check this out. Not too shabby. If you find at the bins, it's a definite purchase. 
if it's um, a tunic, boho blouse, or a dress, I would also pick it up at the thrift store and pay some, pay s probably up to eight dollars for it. Um, choo -choo -choo. Oh, that's beautiful. And you'll see it does a lot better on Poshmark. However, and this is the first time I saw this, the jeans sell like crap even though they are beautiful and I know that because I have a antique boutique pair of jeans that's like never sold even though they're so beautifully embroidered I mean this pisses me off this is stunning 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 I love it but yet no money but when it comes to the other items like bags and dresses sweaters it does well she's like I said she's mostly known for her bags but beautiful clothing nonetheless um, that's adorable adorable so if you find jeans do not pick them up oh my god why didn't I buy this oh the dress has few flaws okay I would still buy it hell to the yeah so remember this one antique boutique Boom. Okay, another designer I wanted to show you is a lesser known out of um, New York in Brooklyn, actually. Um, her name is Samantha Fleet. And I found Pete, Samantha Pleat. Um, I found her on Instagram, actually, through a um, uh, account I follow. Um, the account name is, hold on, I lost my face. Um, view float on top. The account name is, and if you don't follow this um, Instagram account, you should. Uh, Nanine, hold on. Nanine Vintage. It's one of the um, uh, websites, among few others. Um, I mean, boutiques that started selling on Instagram and led the way for Instagram sales, right? So um, I found about her through here and then learned that she um, has sold some stuff through Poshmark and Urban Outfitters, which is great. Let's see, let me move it here. Oops, what is this? Okay. Um, right now she sells a lot through Garmentory. I don't know if you guys know what Garmentory is. It's a um, it's a uh, husband and wife duo that created a place for up-and-coming new indie designers um, to showcase and sell their items. So she's still on there, um, even though she has had some fantastic collaborations. Like she, um, she got together with Wolverine. Do you guys know Wolverine? It's a great brand, check them out, to put out some shoes. And her shoes did really well with that collaboration. Okay, anyway, I can talk about her for hours just because she is very interesting. And a lot of people who like um, avant-garde and kind of uh, indie type um, actors and musicians uh, like to wear, wear her stuff. Um, she's known as like the, uh, like the dreamer the pop art history travel uh, dreamer quality um, type clothing so anyway okay um, Samantha please this is what her um, if you go on her website and um, shop there directly you can see some of the stuff and how much they go for very nice novelty patterns um, you'll notice that she models some of her stuff herself there she is. Lots of really cute, 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 cute stuff and very different at times. Very, very different. Um, on eBay. On eBay she does get good, um, uh, good resale value. Not everything. Um, some people don't realize the value of her clothing and just put it up for pennies because I don't know if they know what they're having, what they're holding. Um, wonderful mom jeans. Check that out. So, 
good resell value. See, here's the Anthro Samantha Pleat collab. I love that pattern, that whole print fantasy unicorn thing that, that does really well. Ooh, I like that premonition passion dress. Um, so great resale here. And here is Poshmark. Let's hear the Wolverine shoes I was telling you about. More Wolverine. So yeah, check it out. If you see something from her, pick it up. Uh, focus on the patterns, the novelty patterns, of course. But some of the solid colored items do pretty good too. But yeah, she's best known for these funky, funky patterns. Um, so those will fetch you the most money. Cool. Hope you like that one too. So we've had eight brands, but I like can't leave you with eight. It has to be like a round number. So I'm going to quickly, quickly do two more. Um, one of them is Hervé Leger. And the, what he's most known for are his dresses, of course, in the 90s. Oh, man. So we're going to look at um, his current stuff and what it sells for. And it does fantastic. This is a brand not only do you pick up at the bins, but you might as well be paying up for it um, if you're at the thrift store. There are some designs that you, I actually would pay up to like $20, $30 for. Um, so it's a brand to not leave behind. Um, get more educated on what to pay up for um, by studying comps and looking at the different um, styles. Uh, I believe he made the bandage dress popular in the 90s. So a well-known copied um, brand, that's for sure. Oh my God, look at this. Ah, Hervé Leger set for $500, you guys. Um, definitely commit this dude to memory. Um, here are some solds on eBay. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Beautiful. You, you just, you gotta, you gotta look him up. And what I wanted to show you was that some of his um, vintage pieces really do get a great return. So um, don't discount his old school stuff. So if you see the bandage thing, look it up. If it's BB, ah, if it's, Hervé Leger, you got to definitely um, look look into it a little bit further. So that's your brand number nine. And I had to squeeze something else in there. I'm squeezing another vintage dress brand um, just because I really like the concept of finding a really, really ugly dress and come to find out it's something that's worth some dinero so um, to add to all the ones I've already shared with you in the past here is Thea Porter Thea Porter a um, bunch of old-school ugly dresses that you might have passed and you know just walked through and didn't think twice um, I want you to remember this one um, let's see uh, why are they showing oh here we go Oh my god! Crazy, right? Crazy. Very unlikely that you might come across something like that. But just in case you do, I want you to remember this name. Thea Porter. Thea Porter. Remember it. Remember it well. Thea Porter and Hervé Leger are great, great brands. All right, you guys? That's it on brand education, or a.k.a. flipology. Oops. Hi guys, it's Gigi. How are you all doing? Thank you so much for all your love and likes and comments to tell my mommy uh, that I'm cute. I really appreciate it. But you know what I would appreciate more? 
Smash that like button. My mommy needs some love too. If you like her, you like me, you like this video. So